out with the old and in with the new, sort of. It's a bit more like musical chairs, but at least they've gotten used to the choreography by now. This was the outgoing Prime Minister Liz Truss's chance to say goodbye. And she did so without apology for the recent economic chaos critics have laid at her door. This government has acted urgently and decisively on the side of hard-working families and businesses. After her farewell to the King, it was time for Rishi Sunak's hello and an invitation from King Charles to form a government. At Downing Street, the world's media was waiting, hooked on the slow-motion implosion of Britain's governing Conservatives. But from the new Prime Minister, a clear effort to turn the page and set a new tone. This government will have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. Opposition parties say he has no mandate. This isn't you know, one Prime Minister changing during the lifetime of a parliament. This is the third Prime Minister in the space of two months. In Southall, one of London's Asian suburbs, there's pride on display in Sunak's Indian heritage, Britain's first Prime Minister of colour. But it doesn't give him a free pass. I would have wanted somebody with a few more, I don't know, a few more scruples, probably. A former banker married to a wealthy heiress, Sunak is rumoured to be richer than the royals, and so say critics out of touch. On the other hand, many businesses remember the help he gave them during COVID as finance minister. He's a good fellow. In lockdown, for the business community, he done a lot of things. Rishi Sunak spent the rest of his first full day in office putting together his cabinet, a delicate balancing act, and of course, a few more musical chairs. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.